There are several things that most fighters have to think about before they begin their careers. It's something that every business has to understand about themselves before they move forward. Every business known to man must have a business model or it would only be looked upon as a hustle. In boxing, when it comes down to business models, there are several options that you can take upon. Business option number one for your company when it comes down to your fighting style, because all fighters are a business. You are a company. So like I always say to the guys, you can either be an amazing chain of businesses that franchise themselves around the globe or around the country, or you can be the corner store, a la a journeyman. The global franchises are the country's best known decorated and celebrated franchises like Apple. You could either be that or Google, but when it's all said and done, the objective is to understand what is your business model. One business model in the sport of boxing as fighters would be one of the most common, which is I take two to give one, like those greats of the game, like Chavez, Joe Frazier, punchers, the Manasseh Mala, and Jack Dempsey. I'll take one to give one. Until you meet guys like Gene Tunney, who understand how to counter guys like that, or in the first Joe Lewis and Max Schmelin fight, when Max Schmelin realized that Joe Lewis would drop his jab every time he threw it. So he countered him and knocked him out in nine. And that's the late, great Joe Lewis, who ended his career over 60 wins and only three losses. And all those, two of those losses came way past his prime. And that one against Max Schmeling was the one that he lost in his prime. It was due to a mistake. Gene Tunney did the same thing with Jack Dempsey. Mr. Take one to give one, but what if he takes that one away? So that style that you're most likely to see a brawler style fighter take is, I'll take two just to get off one. And we got those fighters, those guys who would take two of your punches just to get one off, the Joe Frazier's of the world, guys like Chavez Sr. He'd take two just to get inside one of those immense body shots. Clinical, highly schooled, highly class, but that style will soon leave you in a position where you have to make choices in your business that you may not wanna make. The next style is the bang out style, the exchange style, the fisticuff style, the style that will get you highly recognized in the sport of boxing like Arturo Gotti. These fighters who are electric, Marquez, Pacquiao, they're in battles. Some would say Canelo Alvarez, but he's more of a counter puncher. When you look at these fighters, they will exchange. They will go fisticuffs. Yeah, it will get you on the Gotti list by Jim Lampley, but these fighters are known to have shorter-lived careers due to the business model they've chosen. Why do these guys choose these business models? Because they're inept to change their personality, so they don't add those last few skills that will allow them to elude those situations. And sometimes people say it's pride, country, they want to battle, they want to go to war. But when it's all said and done, you do not want to be closing the doors of your store too soon. And now we have the business model that's most unpopular to the fans, the viewers, the enthusiasts, those who like to write about fighters, those who like to talk about fighters, those who like to report what's going on with certain fighters, is the make them miss, make them pay fighters. Those guys who would be elusive in the ring, Sweet Pea, Bernard Hopkins, Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, guys who got bashed verbally throughout their careers, but ended up celebrated at the end and even more so after they retired. But it's one of the least 
fan friendly styles when it comes to the fans and the fandom in the sport of boxing that we all know and love. But the rewards never stop. So when you look at this and you think about this style, Klitschko even adopted that style taught by Emmanuel Stewart. So when you think about these styles, you wonder, is there another option for me? Let me explain something to you. That business model is the safest business model, and it's usually the business model that if your child fought, you'd have them under. You just have to understand how to get those skills. That's our focus over here, making sure you understand that you have the option to choose your own business model, the business model that you see fit on having your career be celebrated and having a career that you can look back on and be proud of. The business model that we are under is to take one away from you to give two, three, four. That keeps the fight exciting, but at the same time, we coming inside of that dungeon and we're going in there to take what's ours because I believe the science of boxing is to hit and not get hit. So the takeaway model is what we take over here. We take away what you have, catch and block and slip and rolling, and then we handicap our opponents so they're only fighting with one side. And that makes it much more easy for the fans to enjoy. It. So the last and final question for us to pose today is what's your business model, fighters? My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing, where you'll get your master's degree in the science of boxing. And remember, coaches, we work for you. So long. Peace.